What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out some unreleased Gymshark. Gymshark has a pretty big drop coming April 27th. That's this Thursday, April 27th at I believe 11 a.m. EST. I'll have the times that they gave me right over here so you can find your time zone. Definitely pay attention to the sizing in this video. I will have my measurements here as well as in the description box below. But I did mix up some of the sizes because based off of previous launches, <coughs> sweat collection, I had to maneuver. So definitely hit that subscribe button. We've been reviewing Gymshark here on this channel for literally years. And you're gonna wanna stay tuned. There's a lot of hype behind the new Gymshark Limitless collection. So once I get my hands on those stellar looking pieces, you're gonna have a review. I just wanna let you know I do now have a support code. It's Ashley G. You can use it at checkout and it does save you 10% off all of your Gymshark orders. And you know, it does help support this channel as well. Thank you so much if you do. Always let me know so I can personally thank you. Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out my way. I think we need to start with the sweat because I'm wearing the bra right now and yeah, we're gonna start with the sweat. So let's go ahead and talk about this legging. So this legging is the same exact material as the previous legging. I had to double check because when I put it on, it felt really small, very snug. I managed to get it up past my hips. I managed to get it on, squat around in it, but boy, was it tight. I soon then realized it's because they added a bunch of eyelet contour down the leg. So if you look closely, now this is straight up giving me warp knit vibes. You remember that? I just reviewed that like a month or two ago. With that being said, the eyelet designs actually make it feel tighter. That contour adds a little friction, a little less stretch than the leggings typically have. So out of the gate, if you're in between sizes and you wanna grab this black legging, I would highly suggest sizing up. If I could do it all over again, I would size up a full size to a medium. Everything else seems to be the same in terms of the waist snatching waistband, all right? That's something I love about the sweat collection. That waistband snatches the waist. It really, all right, it does a little something around the midsection. It dips in the front and the back. Speaking of dipping, when I squat, it did feel like it dipped in the back a bit, but again, it's a little tight and it feels like it's pulling. So it wasn't very comfortable to actually move around in. But I do think sizing up would have fixed most of those issues. Now onto the second thing that they changed. Well, I don't know if they actually changed it, but they reverted back to the thong contour on this one. <laughs> I thought we were past this. They teased us, they got rid of it last time. We were all happy, ecstatic, throwing parties about it. Now, I mean, it's back. Granted, it's not very noticeable on this dark black legging, but it's there, you can see it. I personally think that the design down the leg is an improvement because I really like that design. Aesthetically, I think it's beautiful. I love it on a black legging, which is why I was obsessed with the warp knit at first. This is a much more durable, thicker material if you guys ever tried the sweat collection you would know. So I definitely think they're heading in the right direction with this legging. I personally like the design. I would just like it to fit better. So if I size up to a medium and it works, then it's game on in this legging. There's no changes that were made with the sweat shorts. Now there's no thong contour that I can see to my naked eye. They kept everything very consistent. Now the sweat collection as a whole has always had that really minimal laser cut design right around the legs on the leggings and the shorts. They kept the very minimal laser cut design on the shorts like the previous launch. After testing both of these colors out, the great blue actually feels stretchier and a little bit bigger than the fossil brown, I had to think of the name. <laughs> So yeah, keep that in mind. I still think these shorts are true to size. I'm sticking with my true size small. Now I do feel like there's a little bit of thigh cinch. For me, I'm super sensitive in that area. If there's even a little bit of cinching, I'm like, come on, go away. But I cannot get behind sizing up in these shorts. They would be far too wrinkly, even in the small, in the overlap. You can see when I move my legs, if there's a little bit of wrinkle. It's just that type of material. This type of material is very absorbent, very thick, very dense, dirty for the gym. All right, you wanna get down at the gym? You're gonna get down with these. This is made of their dynamic fabric. So it's their Sensil Nylon. This fabric is specific to the sweat collection. Something I do have to say I admire about the sweat collection, I never get a dreaded CT. This ain't no scrunch, not even close to it. It's not necessarily a uni butt on me. The glute seam does give it a little bit of shape. I do wish the glute seam on the back did a little bit more, just a little bit. 
This range, I would say, is definitely performance-based because you do have the heavy compression around the waistband. The waistband itself is fairly thick. To give you guys a better idea, if I had to relate this sweat collection to another existing Gymshark collection, I would have to maybe go with the Vital. I feel like the waistband compression, the heavy thick rib, the overall material, I mean, we know that the Vital sometimes gets that wrinkly look to it too. So very similar in a sense. And if you guys know the Vital, that's a real good high impact range. And I would honestly rate these the same as well. This for me just gives a little bit more shapeliness. I just think overall, if you're looking for a really durable gym outfit to really sweat in, this would be it. The sports bras are a different story here, okay? You remember my last video? I said, damn, I should have sized up in those sports bras. Thank the heavens above that I remembered because this was a game changer. Sizing up in the sports bra, it's now manageable to wear. You remember right around here, right around the band is where it felt so ultra tight that it was even hard to get around my body and actually put on. A lot of you guys agreed with me. Something's up with that sweat bra. You would say to me, what's going on? It's like two sizes, two small. Sizing up to a medium is perfect. I wouldn't go up two sizes, no way. There'd be a lot of extra room. That would be ridiculous. Up one size, you're safe. That's your safe zone. Overall, lower support. Even though the leggings are more supportive, I still prefer having a low to moderate support sports bra. The straps are overall fairly comfortable, pretty stretchy. And in fact, if I'm being honest, even in a medium, I still could feel a little snugness right on the back, this backed, why did I say that? On the back, it's hot under these lights, oh my God. This seam, this real thick seam going around the back, that's where I feel that slight dig. Not enough for me to size up two sizes, but it's still there. Out of both of these colors though, I think you already know which one's my favorite. It's this one. Not only is the color really beautiful for this season, but I actually really like that it fits me nicer, especially in the shorts. The less compression, the better. And the fact that this great blue just has a little more room in it than the fossil brown, that makes it the winner. Sweat Collection's been around for some time now. We've already done many, many review videos in the past. The general consensus that I have heard from you guys is that the two things you love most about the Sweat Collection, the waist snatching waistband and the consistently beautiful color palette. And I could not agree more. Gymshark has a habit of slaying the Sweat Collection color palette. When I saw these new colors drop, especially this one, I was like, Amen. Gymshark's also launching some sports bras. It's so funny, it feels like just yesterday I was like, please come out with more training bras, where are you? And now they are. They're coming out with some long line sports bras, some more minimal sports bras, training bandeau, oh, the ruched training bra, one of my favorites, and the low cut sports bra. I don't know why they called it that. That's the crossover sports bra. So the only bra I actually have here today <laughs> is the training minimal bra. I'm so obsessed with these bras. I think they're extremely flattering. It is like wearing a bathing suit top. But with that being said, I wore this bra with the new Legacy legging to the gym the other day, and I'm 99.999% sure I had a nip slip. Now don't get it twisted. It wasn't like Janet at the Super Bowl kind of slip. This was more or less a progressive shifting of material where you're like, am I seeing something brown poking out right now? What is that? Is that a nip slip, girl? Come on, get your act together. When these first came out, I swore off wearing these to the gym for that reason. I said, I don't trust it enough. I don't know how that's gonna go. But then quite some time just passed. And I said, you know what? This is too sexy of a bra not to freaking show off. Especially because I'm training shoulders and back. This is overall such a flattering and comfortable sports bra, especially for upper body. So I was like, you know what? I gotta do it. I just gotta wear these, especially, yo, this new color, a G in blue. So moral of the story is if you have smaller busts than me, you can probably get away with this. In fact, your boobs are gonna look so astounding. If you're my size or bigger, but again, that's only to the gym. You could totally wear this underneath a tank top. I actually wore the black one the other day under a very loose Gymshark tank top going hiking. 
And this is perfectly okay for that. So to match the minimal bra, are you guys ready for some new legacy? Yay. If you're somebody who's new to Gymshark or unfamiliar with the Legacy Collection, this collection actually started off as a men's collection. I used to steal base stringers and tank tops because I really loved that logo. It's the old school shark logo they used to have, flexing up with his biceps. That's the style of this collection where it's very worn, it's grungy, it's old school. It's very bodybuilding to me. Fun fact, it used to say Gymshark Fitness. Now a more updated version of the Legacy now says Gymshark Lifting Club. Which do you prefer, the Gymshark Fitness or Gymshark Lifting Club? I still have yet to go to their lifting club. I was actually supposed to film the summer sale out in the UK and work out at the lifting center. And I had to cancel it. They and I got COVID two days before we were supposed to leave. All right, back to the shorts. <laughs> the legacy is unique in the fact that they have some interesting glute contour. Right above the glutes, they have two seams. One heavy arched V seam, and then another one that almost sprouts out from that. It almost reminds me of Buff Bunny's butterfly seam, but it's a little bit different because it doesn't come from the root of the V-seam. It doesn't sprout out. It's connected from the middle of the V-seam, so it almost sometimes, sometimes it will look like panty lines to me. I personally think they could have done without that extra arch. What do you guys think? Very squared off, geometric feel, and of course you have the classic ruching. So this you can actually spruce up your leg. Now I personally have never and probably will never actually utilize the ruching on the sides. I know a lot of gals who love it because the more leg the better. You wanna fact check the gains, I get it. I don't only because when I ruch this, it actually cinches into the leg more, which again, I'm very sensitive with that. So I'm never actually gonna want it to ride up like that. The material's more soft, it's a little buttery soft, not anything like the sweat collection. This is a lot thinner. Believe it or not, even though these are thinner, they seem to be more squat proof than the sweat on me. These shorts are really good at not cinching into the thighs. They're very lightweight overall, so there's really no dig. I wish they put a scrunch bum on here like they do the leggings. Where there's no ruching on the leggings, there's ruching on the shorts. I think that's the big takeaway from these. So if you're somebody who just loves rolling your shorts up, then you would really like the Legacy. <laughs> now onto the Legacy legging. This particular scrunch is closest to the Whitney in my opinion. It looks a little funky when just hanging out like this, but when you put it on, it is completely undetectable. This is so much more natural than say the camo or animal or even their power. This one is the most natural scrunch bomb they have aside from the Whitney. These are pretty squat proof as well. You will notice in some of the overlap, when this material is stretched out, it can appear a little bit shiny. So don't get that twisted with it being sheer. This material, even though it's brushed and buttery soft, it does have a little bit of a shine to it. They're actually dropping a training minimal sports bra in this exact same color. So keep that in mind on launch day. If you're looking to grab this particular color, you want a matching bra, minimal bra in this color would look sick. Overall, when it comes to the legacy shorts and leggings, if you're in between, I always say size down because they're very, very stretchy. Other than that, I would say super true to size. Let's take a look at some GFX that's dropping. In the color Bright Fuchsia, we're looking at the Fraction Slim Crop Tank and the Fraction Shorts. Let's start with the tank top. I actually really love the body fit on this tank and the stretch. Those are the two things that I just sold me with this. Why is it called Fraction, you ask? This is super reminiscent of the training Fraction crop tops. You remember those? I think it's a very flattering and comfortable tank top to add over a set. Here they just added a simple shark face to the front. This is great in my true size small. If you're in between, I mean, there's so much stretch, you can get away with sizing down. The matching shorts, definitely a different material than the tank. This is more cotton based, no plush lining inside, so you're good. If you wanna wear these to the beach and whatnot, there's a slight relaxed fit to it. You do have two pockets. It's not riding up the groin. I always have to say that when it comes to loose fit shorts. Do they ride up the groin? These do not. Uh, good. The band is very stretchy. This is so very comfortable. There's no draw cord though. I can do without the draw cords. They do get looped up in here and I'll never to be seen again. They did without that silly thing and I'm happy to see it a little more simplified. And then you have the same logo going down the left hip. Now these are printed on logos, but I am glad to see them coming out with more relaxed styles just in time for the warmer weather. I don't know about you, when I'm not at the gym, I'm wearing things like this. It's sweats or nothing. Like right now, for example. <laughs> I'm wearing the rest day shorts. 
Let's hope nothing popped out of there. Now, do you guys prefer the logo extended so you can read the full Gymshark or do you like how it used to look where the text was literally fractioned in half? Okay. What are our thoughts? Comment down below. What are you guys thinking about these new pieces? I'm happy to see Legacy back. You know me, long time fan of the Legacy. Sweat collection this time around, now that I actually played with my sizes, I'm way more into it, <laughs> especially sports bras. So again, these pieces are dropping Thursday, April 27th. Comment down below if you're looking to snag any of these pieces. And again, do not forget to use my code AshleyG at checkout to save 10% off of your entire order. I really do appreciate it. Helps make these videos happen. You guys are seriously so good to me. I know a lot of you are already using my code. You guys let me know. I really appreciate you, seriously. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and I will catch you in my next video.